Okay, now first of all, let's try to understand what is critical angle. Okay, because to understand total internal reflections, you must know what is critical angle. Eh? The critical angle is the angles of incidence in an optical denser medium for which the angles of refraction is 90 degree. Okay, now what does this mean? Eh? Now you see, if we have a light ray, uh, we use this uh, semicircular prism, eh? semicircular prisms. Uh, the reason we use this uh, semicircular prism is if the light ray is points towards the center of the circle, then it will not be refracted. Eh? It will straight away go in. Okay, it will not be refracted. Okay, that's why we use the semicircular prism. Eh? So uh, this is less dense, then it go inside, become denser. Now when the light ray move from a denser medium to a less dense medium, it will be refracted away from the normal. Suppose it goes straight forwards, eh? but uh, due to the refractions, it is refracted away from the normal. This is a normal, it will go further or far away from the normal. So this is a refracted ray. Okay, uh, This is usually what happens if we increase uh, the angles of incidence. So this is the angles of incidence. This angle here is the angles of incidence. So if we increase the angles of incidence, so you have a light ray like this, okay? Then the angles of refraction also increase. Eh? So you increase the angles of incidence. Eh? Initially, the angles of incidence is this. Okay, now you make it bigger. This is the angles of incidence. So the angle of refraction will also increase, okay? And you increase again up to one point, okay? Up to one point, the angles of reflections, so the angles of refractions are R A yeah, refractions, so the angles of refractions become ninety degree. Okay, because uh, when you increase this, this will increase, and the, the maximum angle can be reached yeah, is ninety degree. So you increase up to one point. Okay, the angles of refractions become ninety degree, where the light ray is refracted uh, uh, parallel to the plane. Uh, so this is the maximum angles. Uh, this is the maximum angles where refractions can occur higher than that then there will be no more refractions eh? okay lower smaller than these angles yes you have refractions okay like this eh? okay but if the angles are bigger than this eh, there's no more refractions eh? if you move the light go up no more refractions eh? okay so this is the maximum angle where refractions can occur so these angles eh, these angles when the angles of refraction become 90 degree and this is the maximum angles so where refractions can occur this is called a critical angle it's called a critical angle so it's the angles of incidence huh? this is angles of uh, this is incident ray so this is angles of incident this is a refracted ray this is angles of refractions huh? so it's a this is the angles of incident in an optical denser medium it must be the uh, it must be uh, inside the optical denser it must be denser okay it cannot be less dense huh? Okay, because it's, if the light ray is from less than to denser, then no, no uh, critical angle. It must be denser to less than that only have critical angle. Eh? So uh, angles of incident in an optically denser medium, okay, where the angles of refraction become 90 degree. Okay, so that is critical angle. Okay. Then how about if we keep on increasing the angles of incidence? Okay, we move it upwards. So what will happen? Okay. Now, if you move it upwards, okay, suppose that this is the angles of uh, critical angles, okay, if the angles of incidence uh, is this one, this is the angles of incidence. If the angles of incidence is bigger than the critical angle, no more refractions, but 100% of the light ray will be reflected. So you see, this is refraction, this is refraction, uh, but if the angles of incidence is bigger than the critical angle, so no more reflections. Uh, so no more refractions. Hundred percent of the light ray will be refracted, and we call this total internal reflections. When the angles of incidence exceed the critical angles, uh, then total internal reflections occurs. Okay. So that is total internal reflections. Uh, critical angles and total internal reflections.